What's the worst and most dangerous way to speedrun the first 100 Backrooms levels? Hey everyone, my name is Brugley, and today I'm going to be walking you through the dumbest, scariest, most insane way to speedrun the first 100 levels of the Backrooms. This method is going to have the most dangerous environments, terrifying entities, and dumb decisions that you can possibly make trying to get to Backrooms level 100, and it's more of a non-example of how to speedrun it. I've already made a safe speedrun of the first 100 levels, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. This is going to be the opposite of that. So without any more blabbering, let's get into it, shall we? So, no matter what type of speed run you're doing, you'll always start on level zero, which we all know is the infinite yellow expanse of buzzing lights and wet carpet. But that's the rookie stuff, we're gonna get into the crazy stuff now. Anyways, you need to no-clip out of level zero as fast as possible and get to level one. Level one, of course, is the infinite carport with concrete floors and wetness all over it. You've seen it before, you know what it is. Again, this is rookie stuff. But let's say you're just having a walk down a hallway that's deep into level one and you see a big hole in that hallway. You decide to jump directly through that hole and congratulations, you just made your first of many terrible decisions that you're about to make. Because you did this, you are now in the claustrophobic attics of level 19. Level 19 is only classified as a class two difficulty, so it's not too bad, but it gets really cramped in some spaces and it feels dusty and gross and it's just an attic. I mean, that's scary enough, but you probably think you made not too bad of a choice here. To get out of level 19, you need to find a small handheld gaming system in one of the boxes that's going to be up there. So you find one, you pick it up, and that's actually the second bad choice you've made because now you'll be sent to level 212. You passed up level 100, which was your destination, and you're way far ahead in a terrible level because level 212 12 is classified as a class 5 difficulty and it's an entity infested airport. The airport has been overrun with entities like wretches and skin stealers and skin givers and hounds and clumps and smilers and literally every bad thing that exists in the back rooms is here. And you just sent yourself here. Nice. Now you're thinking to yourself, you know, how do I exit this level? How do I get out? Where do I go? So you run around and try to find a door in the terminal area that you're at try to escape this level. You find one, and because you found one, you think you're safe. So you run over and you open it up, and you're sent to a city. But no, it is not the safe level 11 city that you've been sent to, because you'll slowly notice that the sky of this city is crimson red, and everywhere around you reeks dark energy. Congratulations, that is the third mistake you've made on this speedrun, because now you found yourself in level 11.3, a class 5 difficulty cityscape that has a dark, negative energy coursing through it. The level is called the Red Red Light District, and it has a race of sentient red cubes that float around with weird shadow entities that hide in the alleyways waiting to attack you while you pass by. The entire place is corrupt and dark, and you're probably scared to even be here. So in your panic state, you run as fast and as far away as you can from the middle of the city, and lucky for you, you just made the first right choice of the day. By running away from the city, you accidentally found the entrance to the regular level 11. So good job, you know, you finally made a good decision. I'm proud of you. And now you're in the safe level 11. The infinite city with tons of people and food and safety and groups and everything like that. The only problem is, you don't want to stay in level 11, you're trying to get to level 100's beaches. So now you're looking for exits of level 11, and you find someone that says you have to go into the sewers to exit. So of course, being the dumb person that you are, you listen to them, and you open up a sewer grate, and you jump down, and you made another bad choice. Congrats. Now you're in level 34, which is a claustrophobic sewer system that's filled with entities and water, and it's classified as a class 4, and it's also pitch black, and you didn't bring a flashlight. Typical. So that's the fourth big mistake you've made. Now you're in these tunnels and you start stumbling around the dark, musty waters of the sewer until you find what looks like a window. You're not sure if it's an entity or if it's a real window, but at this point, you don't care. You run into it and you no-clip out through the window and now you're on level 99. Only one level away from level 100. You're almost there, except Level 99 is a desolate wasteland expanse of desert with a hot burning sun that shines all the time. It's also classified as a class of desolate wasteland, so 
Good job. That's the fifth mistake you've made. But you think to yourself, you know, I'm only one level away from level 100, so it doesn't matter. You know, I can't be too far off. You end up wandering through the desert landscape for hours and hours until you find an abandoned town. You think that the exit has to be here somewhere because this is the first sign of life that you've seen. And you end up finding a door that's labeled a swimming pool. And you think to yourself, let's see, level 100 is actually an ocean and a beach. And this door says swimming pool on it. Close enough, right? I mean, surely. So you decide to take the chance, open up the swimming pool door, jump through it. And the only problem is you won't see level 100 soft sand beaches on the other side. You'll wake up in a disgusting floating wasteland with random objects everywhere. And uh, congrats, you made it all the way to level 7. That is the sixth mistake that you've made today. You were literally one level away from level 100, and now you're all the way back at level 7. And you have to find another way to level 100 now, I guess, because you just backtrack the entire time, and you're on a really dangerous ocean level with storms and entities that want to eat you. So yeah, that was the worst possible way to speedrun level 0 to level 100. I made this video using the listed exits of the levels on the wikidot, and I thought it'd be pretty fun to see how many mistakes a person could make trying to get to level 100, and as you can see, there was a ton of mistakes that were made. Like I said, I made a video on the safest way to get to level 100 from level 0, that'll be in the description. This one is the most dangerous way, and you made a ton of mistakes trying to get there, so don't do it. Go watch the other video of how to do it safely. Let me know in the comments if you have a worse way of speedrunning it, or if you like this way, or if you have another way. I'm excited to hear what you gotta say. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching this. This video is extremely fun to make. I really hope you enjoyed it. I love these speedrun type deals because I feel like no one else does them. And I feel like it's very, you know, unique and stuff. And I have a great time making them because I just love to see how crazy it can get. The fact that you can start on level zero and make it all the way to level 99, so close to 100, and then just be sent back to level seven. It's just funny to me that you can go to all these dangerous levels. I mean, it's not really funny, but it's funny. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I am on the road to 1 million subscribers. And when I hit a million, I'm going to be flying to England and staying in the level 188 hotel. If you want to help me get to the 1 million sub mark, uh, drop a sub, share the channel. Thank you for support, all your, all your help and everything you do for me. I'm so appreciative of you. The channel is literally just growing absurdly fast, and I, I cannot thank you enough. So seriously, thank you all so much. I love and appreciate you all. And make sure to tell somebody that you love and appreciate them, because life is too short to not tell people that. Let me know what other speedruns you want. Let me know what other levels you want me to go over other entities if you want me to go over POIs and things like that let me know we're all about the backrooms here on this channel I love it I love where it's going I love the, the vibe of it thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video peace <laughs>